Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to go ahead and set up this happy planner. We're going to go ahead and set it up. I did get this planner yesterday. I am making some changes to my lineup and I did want to take advantage of the 50% off sale that I got at Hobby Love. So, we're just gonna do a little bit of a setup video. I won't be doing any flip throughs of this planner. I'm sure you guys have seen it many times in your, in the other channels. So I'm just gonna jump right to setting this up. This is a beautiful seasonal whimsley, whimsical, I believe, planner. And I just need a little bit of a change for my vertical planning so this is so pretty so okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and set this up now what I will be doing is as beautiful as these discs are I will be moving to my expander disc and I will be setting up using a few things that I have here so let's go ahead and get started I hope you guys can see my perfect okay okay so this is kind of an impromptu video i'm so sorry if it's like all over the place but uh we're gonna try this out and we're gonna see how it goes so first thing i will show is i got these expander discs happy planner these tie-dye i thought it would go great with this cover and this planner i love that this planner is seasonal i'm very excited to jump back into a happy planner so I'm very excited about that. So let's see. Now, where do we start? Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do, I guess I have to do this, is move these and this to those discs. And then I'll start transferring these pages. And you guys are on you guys are gonna be with me through this ride okay it's gonna be a ride because it's very impromptu but sometimes these videos turn out pretty amazing when they are that way so let's jump right to it so I as you guys know and I don't know if you do but as you know hopefully but I have been pregnant most of this time I did have my son um just the end of july so i've been just trying to jump back into the swing of things and this is part of that process i am excited to be making these videos i have so many things i want to do <laughs> like i would love to see this all set up and put together when like at the end of this year or when this planner is over with and kind of see like everything that happened through that year. And that's kind of why I really wanted to jump back into this. So I did want to share as well, and I'll probably do a separate video more explaining why, or maybe I'll just go with whatever this video says. So again, impromptu. So um, I am using a simplified planner. And I will show you really quickly. I'm using this planner for on the go pen only. And I have been trying to document like pen only as well, um, baby things in this one. This is the go get a girl planner. So there's that, but I might end up doing a separate video explaining that. Anyways, back to this planner. So I know that we are at the end of August or somewhat, but I'm probably going to back plan all of this so i'm probably gonna back plan july and wait am i gonna back plan july no not july i'm gonna probably back plan august in this planner um and kind of start from there so let me grab just these sheets I didn't want to grab these okay and then i'll probably i like to have the full planner with me so that's kind of why i got these expander discs so i'm gonna skip july 
and just start from August, but I'll be transferring all of these to this. So here we go. So this is how it's going to be looking for now. Now, what I want to do, I want to add a few things here and we'll do that together. But I love the tiny with this. I know it looks like a lot, but I love a lot of color. So it's working out perfectly for me. So what I want to add in here is I do want to add these. Now these I want to add here. And this is more for things like uh, meal planning or things like that that I want to use this for perfect and then I do want to add I'm not going to add too much in here but this will be my main bookmark for now if I change it up you guys will see on the videos but let's go to the week. And it is this week. And I'm just going to put this here. This may or may not change to this bookmark, but for now, that's what we have. And then, now add in the back or no, maybe the front. Let me think. So I might do it in here because, yeah, I might do it here. So here I'll just add a few sheets. So I'm going to add a few of these. Not a lot, just a little bit. Okay, 
Okay, so we're gonna add a few of these sheets. This is just in case I need it when I'm on the go. And a few of these, because I do use these a lot. I also want to grab a few of these expense trackers. So let me do that here. And then we'll look to see if it's too bulky where I can adjust some things. Let me see. I know I said no to July, but I want to add it anyway and then decide if I don't edit this too. If I don't go back on time in this too, like basically back plan this too, which I might. Only because this was the month that my son was born. So let's see. So I might. Let me see if it's too bulky. This is me just kind of testing the pages to kind of see, okay, do I like how it's passing through? Do I feel like I need to take some months off? Let me see. Okay. So, yes, I'm going to take some months off. It's way too thick. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to only go to August on this and take out September, October, November, December and see how that goes. Because it's way too thick. September. I want to go through August because in August is when my son turns one. So we're going to remove September, October, November, December. And see if that's going to be good. I know this looks kind of crazy because we're doing all this on video, but that's the thing with doing setup videos unplanned and impromptu like this. Okay, sorry guys, I was just thinking and thinking and doing this with you. So, this is going to be my memory planner slash vertical planner. Slash, it's going to carry all my memories and things like that for this year. I will be back planning it for July and for August to get me caught up till now. And I will be sharing this with you. We will try it out like this. This will carry July through August. And we will see how this goes. And then if I make any changes, you guys will see on the videos. But so this is how it's looking. Again, I will show it to you again. So I use the tie-dye expander discs, which are gorgeous with the one happy year. And I think I like it like this versus switching it. 
Let me see though. Let me see if I like it this other way better. Because I might. look cute we can it does look cute but I like it better the other way so we're gonna go ahead and put it back Okay. All right, guys. So this is how it's looking like. I do like it a lot. I know. Thanks for being patient with me and going through this with me. But so this is how it's looking. We're using the tie dye, which is beautiful, but the tie dye large expander discs. And we're using this one happy year. This is a vertical planner. So this planner is a seasonal whimsy or whimsical. I don't know if I'm saying this right. So this is how I will put my name here. And I will I have these in here. I don't know if these will stay, but this is how I have it set up right now to put my meal planning. And this is just in case I need a grocery list. Um, I also have these sheets in here, the expense tracker and the grocery list and some extra sheets. I have July through August in here. And again, this is a seasonal vertical planner. Let me show you one week just so you can see. So I plan to use this for memory planning and it kind of like a catch-all as well. Um, but yes, I plan to put this stuff in here and I plan to hopefully make some videos on this where we can keep up and you guys can follow along with me. But it is beautiful, it is gorgeous, and I love it. So let's see how it is. See you all in the next video.